Well, welcome everybody. So I, I'm going to really move really quietly so it's really easy for the translator. So I'm just going to go, no, 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 and she's going to have a really hard time. And that was supposed to be a joke, but we'll get better than that. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to put out today here is, is certain points of um, evolution. Uh, I've been a doctor of oriental medicine for over 40 years. I spent many years in Asia looking at the physiology of various spiritual practices and how to work that in the clinic. So I've come up with six areas of development that go from basically being pretty unconscious to a rough version of enlightenment. And so we're just going to discuss those briefly today, um, cover the high points, and then um, there'll be time for questions afterward. So. Um, и э, все вопросы, которые будут э, занимаются революционными вопросами, но э, сейчас будет презентация, все вопросы будут после нее. Вдохните, выдохните, пожалуйста. Расслабьтесь. Очистите свой ум и будьте готовы учиться. И пусть это будет весело и интересно. So basically, we live, in, we live in a continuum between the momentum of our ancestors, which really developed our physical body, and as we will see as, as the hour progresses, our heart is what connects us to the higher dimensions. And then so we live between so the, this gravity and the sky. And, and that's where our clinical field of, of therapy is. Everybody getting this so far? So what, what are the differences between transpersonal um, therapy and sort of tr traditional uh, psychiatry and or medical psychiatry is... Is, is that really the body is the mind? Это работа с телом, либо с умом? Нет. Майнд. Тело – это и есть ум. А, the body is the mind. The body is the mind. When you really break it down, the consciousness, like, for instance, if somebody has a mind that's going round and round and round. Если происходит такой разрыв, если кто-то в голове ходит постоянно по одним и тем же тропинкам, if, if you start breathing into the organs, which we'll talk about, and find the place where the pain is or the, the held emotion is, the mind will stop. That's how I know it's true. When we think of the idea of mind, we can think of a, a, like a big aquarium, a big tank where fish live. Um, when we think about the idea of mind, we think about... A, you know, like a, a big fish tank. Only this fish tank is infinitely big. And our mind is like the water or the space that the fish swim in. И разум это как вода, которая наполняет это место, и там плавает рыба. We learn early in our culture. Мы достаточно рано учимся внутри своей культуры. To stay away from the body feelings. Мы отрываемся от ощущений собственного тела. So we think, 
to stay away from the hurt that lives in the body, the stress, the trauma, and so forth. Мы думаем, что стресс, травмы, они живут внутри тела. So when we work with the body in all the different levels, which we'll talk about, когда мы работаем с телом на всех уровнях, о которых мы говорим, we work with the mind. Мы работаем на самом деле с разумом. Because the mind is just a big pure space that things appear in. Так как разум это большое открытое пространство, which is which is things just appear in. Который просто проявляется, есть. So um, what what we want to do eventually is just to focus on the clear space and to help our clients just be able to experience the clear space, and then rather than bad thoughts and ideas and repetition and and trauma. Клиенту предлагается проживать вот проживать открытое пространство ума, то есть очищение от плохих мыслей, от плохих идей. Um, what, what happens is we, we experience the clarity of thought. Мы проводим работу с очищением от этих мыслей. And it's a big thought out of time, out of space. И вот пребывание вне времени, вне пространства. That has no limitation. Там, где нет никаких ограничений. And so what appears is creative ideas. И то, что появляется, это творческие идеи. Information from our ancestors or the future or other dimensions. And, and a great deal of peace and space. Now I'm a Gemini with four planets in Gemini, so I have a lot of mind to work with. So if it works for me, it'll work for anybody. <laughs> so what's the real goal of transpersonal therapy? Now, of course, we want to think about what does a healthy, happy, integrated person look like. Probably not. <laughs> it's the smallest one. <laughs> so, the structure of personality has many variations. From the micro and the subtle to the energetic. So, our job, what I've laid out here today is to look at six levels of working with someone to take them from the gross to the infinite. Number one is the beginning. You could reverse it, but you know. So we have connecting the somatic awareness to the present. I'm going to go over each of these again. Freeing the emotional and, and the historic imprint, opening the spiritual heart to connect to all of the higher dimensions, connecting to the ancestral and genetic realities, uh, connecting to, to the ancestral and the transdimensional, and then finally integrating the simultaneous dual and non-dual experience, which is enlightenment. Осознавание в настоящее время, соединение да, с настоящим. Второй шаг – это эмоциональные исторические, эмоциональные исторические освобождения. Третий шаг – открытие духовного сердца для того, чтобы соединить да, свою жизнь и более высокие измерения. Четвертый шаг – соединение a center of genetic reality. Let's say, Dinia, could you please explain the fourth one? The fourth one? Yes. Well, I, I, I'll go over all these in depth. We're going to go back to the fourth one. Step five. Say, Dinia, 
Об этом будет несколько позже, поэтому пока вот общий обзор. Опыт, который мы проходим сердцем и соматическим осознаванием. Шестой шаг и там, интеграция с единый момент дуального и недуального опыта. Позже будет объяснено более подробно. Okay. This woman is working very hard for you. Thank you. <laughs> this is not my day today. <laughs> so take a deep breath. <laughs> okay. So the first step connecting to the awareness of the present. So this is the very first step, you know, of, of somebody that, that begins to be self-aware. Это первый шаг, и, конечно, человек становится, начинает осознавать, осознавать самого себя. You know, the beginning to feel the breath in the body. Во-первых, это ощущение дыхания, дыхание телесного. Beginning to feel what is actually in the body, my feelings. А и это осознавание того, что происходит вот сейчас прямо в теле, мои чувства. When I was first, 40 years ago, I was working as a biofeedback therapist. Когда мне было 40 лет, биофит-терапист. Биофидбэк. You know, you put instruments on and you can tell your hands get warm or muscle tension goes down. Он работал как биоэнерготерапевт, и объяснение было, что при подобных техниках меняется температура тела, меняется состояние. And I started to do breathing. I realized that I had spent my whole life feeling like I had a knife stuck in my tummy. I didn't know that. I was in my late twenties and to discover that I had spent my whole life with this sharp sensation here was a surprise. So it's amazing how something simple to feel the breath in our body and begin to realize what's going on here rather than all the stuff out here. You know, there's a whole spiritual path just based on subtle, subtler and subtler awarenesses when you breathe. A certain aspect of the Pasman practice is based on that. И личная практика основывается тоже на этом, на первом шаге нашем на дыхании. So um, the second stage is is freeing up. You want to get that? Kind of fun feeling the buzz. <laughs> Второй шаг это Чувствование физического и энергетического тела, эмоционального и исторического. Освобождение. 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 Освобождение физического и энергетического тела от эмоциональных и исторических. Two of my spiritual teachers. So I like it that they're looking over my shoulder. So, so anyway, first we become aware, and then and then we begin to notice that there's places inside our body that hurt or numb or disconnected or have emotions. Uh, сначала мы начинаем uh, ощущать себя, и затем uh, находим те места, где у нас что-то не так, где-то проблемы, где-то травмы. In the, the Asian medical systems, uh, I, I, I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine, but I've also studied Tibetan and uh, Vedic medicine from India. И арктической системы медицинской из Индии. Um, the, fun, the, the emotions are considered to be part of the function of the organs. And also the polarity between the front and the back. 
the, the channel in the front and the channel in the back. We'll talk about that more in depth. Um, one of the easiest things to understand for people that don't know much about uh, Chinese medicine yet, there are emotions related to the specific organs. Uh, I, like for instance, the heart has to do with uh, be, be, be disconnected joy or um, kind of nervous activity if there's, we say, too much fire in the heart, or a healthy heart would be contentment and tranquility. And so, so those that are used to working with emotions, you can begin to see that there's a whole diagnostic and treatment therapy just based on looking at these particular positive and negative emotions. So as an acupuncturist, I, I could treat the organs with needles or herbs or diet, but as a therapist, uh, you can actually just be aware of breathing into the organ or during certain practices that will relax, open, or connect the organs. So these are some areas that are that, that always have a great deal of, of emotional containment. The polarity between the front and the back. And the occipital area, you know, like if, if, if the emotions are strong, we'll often do this. You feel chalk on a board, you do that. So the, the occipital. occipital. The, the bone at the back. Ah, yeah. <laughs> The, the occipital area it reflexes to the base of the brain. Uh, I think there are some sick cats next door. <laughs> to get some catnip. Um, the, the basal ganglion at the base of the brain has to do with cutting off somatic sensations. So when we feel overwhelmed, we do this, it stops the feelings from the body to come up to, to our consciousness. So uh, again, um, you can use breathing exercises, movement, visualization. Uh, to work on the heart, pericardium, which is one of the main emotional centers, obviously. And also the adrenals by doing low abdominal breathing into the, into the abdomen all the way down to the pubic bone. We can switch from a stressed physiology to a relaxed physiology, from sympathetic to parasympathetic. It's very difficult to heal or feel your emotions unless you actually switch into a parasympathetic mode. So when we talk about the polarity between the, the REN, which is the channel that runs up the front, and the one that runs up the back. Uh, 
I gave a two-hour presentation on this two years ago in Romania at this conference. And, and what I've discovered in my research is that this polarity holds the bonding patterns of, of connection or lack of it to both parents. Bonding. How connected they are. Эта полярность связана с родительским, с родительской составляющей, как они соединяются вместе. What we find is that all psychopathology мы нашли, что вся психопатология and physical pathology и физическая патология is founded on this, this original polarity between the, the front and the back, like a north and south pole of a magnet. And uh, th this begins just before conception. Because it's very complicated when the egg is trying to date this, the, when the, the sperm are coming up and the egg is going, I don't know if I like you or not yet. Okay, it's very, it's very, very karmic when, when the sperm is trying to meet the egg. And so as soon as the egg chooses the sperm to date, очень комичная ситуация, как сперма соединяется с яйцеклеткой, и когда яйцеклетка выбирает на какой из сперматозоидов реагировать. Already this is beginning to set up the polarity. It's how karma imprints into the physical body. It's the first. Это то, каким образом образуется полярность и как карма входит в тело. So what we find is that. What, you know, when, when we have an opposite sex bonding deficit. Uh, we tend to be more in the spine. And so if, if I have a if, if I'm a little boy with a with a, a bonding deficit with my mother. Or a girl, little baby with a girl with a body deficit with her father opposite. We tend to be more linear. Uh, straight up. Uh, like and and our, our boundary is out here. Uh, if we have a same-sex primary bonding deficit, then we are toward the front, we are softer, you know, our, our boundary is way inside, we see softer. And those are the two fundamental polarities that all personality traits are based on. Two polarity, two main polarity traits that all personality types are based on. And then there is a combination where you have a bonding deficit. Uh, with both the mother and the father, uh, and, and then the energy pushes in front and back, so rather than being linear or soft, you're kind of pulled in, so there's just not much energy that runs in, the back comes forward, the front comes back, and you're, you're contained. Эти границы соединяются, человек вытягивается, становится более мягким. So if you do it once again, yeah. things for me is a little bit of understanding that term. So, so opposite problem in the back, same sex problem in the front, and, and both, it, 
it just contracts front and back. Что касается проблем противоположного пола, они находятся сзади. Проблем своего пола они находятся впереди. And when they come together, we are emotionally distant. Мы эмоционально дистантны в это время. Извините, что я вот настаиваю, но проясняю, я думаю, я буду проясняю, если я это глупо. Once you get used to this, эмоционально, да, отстраненный, дистантный, это понятно. Once you get used to seeing this, you can look at somebody across the street and describe their parents to them. А если вы видите такого человека, когда через улицу, вы можете подойти к нему и объяснить, что происходит, в чем его проблема, проблема с родителями. It's in the pulse if you take pulses, like Chinese or Tibetan pulses. Обычные китайцы, они будут подробнее пульс. So, can I have you stand up? Можно, пожалуйста, вы встанете. Can I have you stand up? Можно, пожалуйста, вы встанете. Right here. And let's see here. Давайте еще посмотрим, кто. Okay. Okay. Is is see how? This beautiful lady is soft on the outside, and then and how this beautiful lady is a little harder on the outside. Посмотрите, как эта молодая дама помягче внешне, а это пожестче, пожестче. Can you see that? Видно? Okay. Yeah. Anybody can't see that? Yeah. It's okay. All right. See, that's the beginning. Now they're both beautiful women. It's not a deficit. You can sit down. Thank you. So everything about us is expressed. Usually, I can describe the personality of someone's parents from the pulse. Sometimes the grandfather. Sometimes if they were raised by a, another caregiver, like a man or something. И по пульсу можно понять, как человек рос, воспитывал, может быть, это были родители или не родители. So, if you're a therapist and not not doing physical things, if somebody is like this, you have them breathe in the front. You get used to being in the front. If they're in the front. You have to breathe in the back. You get used to that. And if they're tight from both ways, you have to work on the heart and then gradually get their feeling self to open. Что касается человека, которого вы видите такого закрытого, он может дышать или себя, видеть себя, и он может открыть с помощью дыхания себя. Let me take my coat off here. Any questions so far? So um, in a clinical setting, to clear traumatic and somatic and ancestral patterns, you can use meditative breath work and somatic awareness and many other techniques. Трансперсональные терапевты используют медитацию, медитативные техники дыхания, включая соматическое осознавание. Once you get this progression of steps, then it's easy to figure out what to do about that. И проходя через разные этапы, понятно, что необходимо будет делать. So the third, okay, so we've gone through just basic body awareness. We've gone to beginning to pay attention to what's stored in the organs, where, uh, and the polarity of bonding. Frankly, most just plain psychotherapy doesn't go that far. About 30 or 40 years ago, I was working at UCLA in Los Angeles. And a lady came to me. And she said her psychoanalyst said he could cure her headache if she came three times a week for 10 years. I think this is a good money scam. 
Um, and so, so we fixed her in about two weeks because we went right into uh, where she went, right, we went right into where her anger, she was holding her anger. So, um, the next is the emotional heart, which is very important in our world today because what, the big problems in our world that come from disassociation, and selfishness and greed, really come from lack of the heart. When, when we're in the heart, we can feel our connection to the universe and God. And we feel our connection to humanity and to life. I think I would like to get Trump into my office for a couple of months. <laughs> After have to fumigate it afterward. <laughs> so thankfulness and humility open the heart. Humility. Because the heart connect, the heart is out of time, it's next to the universe. So in one of the ancient books on Chinese medicine, it says the heart is the, heart is the sovereign of all the organs. And it's where the consciousness lives in one's body. Our man is responsible for intelligence and wisdom. And the art of the heart, in other words, the spiritual reality that helps really open the most delicate part of the heart, духовный опыт открывает самые деликатные стороны, самые особые стороны сердца. Is to allow the heart to be open and aware of all sights, sounds, thoughts, feelings, people, and experiences. И это позволяет сердцу открыть всем взглядам, звукам, мыслям, чувствам, людям, опытам и никогда не прощаться с сущностью, которая является природой. It never wavering from the essence of its own true excitement in the other room. <laughs> Somebody go slap him around. <laughs> in other words, you know, we, we, we say my heart is broken. We say it hurts my heart. But the truth is, the heart is very much like the sun. You know, nothing hurts the sun. The organs and concepts around the heart are what gets open. It's what gets hurt. But the heart itself, once we get the heart open and connected to the heart, we can experience anything without, without closing down the heart. 
На самом деле, вот те органы, которые окружают сердце, вот там боль, но открытое сердце, оно... The open heart gives... I'll say more. Yes, please. Each of the organs has a defensive style. The, the liver defends itself with anger and hyperactivity. The spleen protects itself by having its own reality and not really paying attention to other people so much. The spleen. spleen. And, and so forth. The heart protects itself with pure openness. When, when we are actually living in the reality of the heart, nothing can hurt it. Because we feel our connection to the universe. The, the heart really connects us from the physical to the non-dual. So there's nothing to protect and nothing to defend. So um, the signs of energetic heart pathology are slight thoracic tension that's in the chest. Смысл глубокой энергетической патологии сердца – то, что находится в области груди. Facial tension. Напряжение в лице. Stillness in the upper back. Stiffness. Да, такое жесткая напряженность в спине. Coldness of the nape of the neck or the neck You know, diabetes and autoimmune diseases, food allergies. And, I, I, you know, and, and so forth. So once we... So, so these are issues not necessarily that look like heart issues. But, but when it gives us a bigger view that there are emotional heart issues at work. Но это нас нам просто дает больше более широкий взгляд на то, что эмоциональная проблематика оказывает влияние на тело. Normally, when I teach this, I have a whole half day just to understand what the heart looks like and heart pathology. Когда я обучаю этому, у меня целых половина дня не такое короткое время, как сегодня. So, so there are a lot of basic practices for the heart. Большинство практик связанных сердцем. One of, the, one of the main things that involves self-awareness uh, is that um, we, we want to begin to try to feel loving to others. Uh, and then notice how we feel about it. Maybe we feel loving, but we're kind of angry about it. А может быть мы чувствуем любовь, но мы не готовим по этому поводу. We feel, we, we feel loving, but then we have a problem because they don't feel loving back to us. Потому что они получают любовь назад от нас. And, and so forth. So it's the idea of watching how we are in the expression of the emotion of love and compassion. Наблюдая за тем, какие мы и каким образом мы обращаемся с этим эмоциональным фоном. So this is a way to, to, to know that you're not quite healed. If you're angry about having to love someone or take care of something, once the body and the mind and the heart are healed, compassion is spontaneous. Вот процесс исцеления – это процесс наблюдения за собой и за тем чувствования других. Да, спонтанного чувствования, понимания, сочувствия, compassion. Once the self is healed, then there's you you can't help but being compassionate. You can't help but Caring about other life and other beings. Когда исцеление произошло, исцеление себя, то мы начинаем заботиться о других. 
So uh, these are some ideas, modern qualities of the heart, spirit, intimacy, intelligence, thought, morally conscious, in other words, how things feel, emotional intelligence, intention, and attention. Um, embryologically, uh, the heart comes down from the top of the notochord or where your crown chakra would be. And, and, and so the heart actually comes down from the top down into the chest. So there are energetic and structural connections from the heart out to the crown chakra and then up to the higher dimensions. There, there are some uh, information out there that says the brain comes up from the gut to the head. Есть информация или идея о том, что мозг идет от от Бога. And this is where the expression "shit for brains" comes from. Shit for brains. Таким же образом в мозге. It's hard to make a joke in another language. I'm trying desperately here. So, so many traditions, uh, uh, the, the heart is the doorway to the higher dimensions. There are a number of spiritual traditions out there where the mind is super clear, but you can't feel their heart. So the Tibetans call that a nam, or a misunderstanding. No. Yeah, right. It's like a, a delusion on the path. It's like, you know, like, because my mind is so clear, you think, oh, I'm spiritual and I'm aware. But if you don't have your heart, the heart is what grounds the awareness and takes it higher. Ну, допустим, человек представляет, что его мозг очищен, разум очищен, и он все прекрасно идет, но в то же самое время от сердца тянет вниз. And, and again, these are just some pieces of art kind of reminding us of how we can connect to higher dimensions. Well, actually, I'm sorry, these <coughs> So um, the other the other aspect we've talked about the heart the heart connects us to higher dimensions. Мы говорили о том, как сердце соединяется с высшими с высшими измерениями. But yet our bodies are come from our ancestors. Но наше тело приходит из наших от наших предков. And the, the the heart and higher dimensions really link. I mean, the higher dimensions really connect to the body and the heart. Uh, uh, but our ancestry actually comes up through the kidneys. Uh, no. uh -huh. And uh, when I, if, if I actually feel the kidney pulse on the right side, I can... Usually I can describe someone's father and sometimes their grandfather. Может быть, я тогда могу описать своего отца или или деда. And the left side I can usually describe them. А на левой стороне. Sometimes the grandmother. Ощущаю пульс, я могу описать маму или бабушку. So using meditative and shamanic techniques. Используя медитацию и шаманские техники. We can connect our bodies and through the kidneys, down to the bottom of the feet and out. Symbolically and energetically out of time to our ancestors.
the, the physical body is connect, connects us to time. The heart connects us out of time. Mm. Uh, физическое тело соединяет нас со временем. Uh, and what is connected us? The, second part is... the heart connects us out of time. А uh, сердце соединяет нас с без uh, безвременным пространством. And, and so, so when we want to go forward and backward in time by connecting the heart to the body, there was some wonderful research done by Arthur Jan, J-A-N-N. J-A-N-N, uh, at Princeton. And he, he proved that you can influence backward in time, and you can influence forward in time. <coughs> this is very famous research at a very straight university. But they took a random number generator, and they, they had people sit in front of it, and they could change it. Then they turned it on, and a month later, they had people try to change it backward. And then they had people focus on, on the future, and then they turned it on a month later. They found out that present time in the past or future was the same. In, in, anyway, it, you know, it's a whole story, you don't have much time. But they prove, they prove that you can influence backward in time, forward and forward in time. Anybody can do that. То есть мы имеем возможность оказывать влияние на предыдущее время и будущее время. So if you had a difficult time in your life, or your client had a difficult time, like you drop your phone, or, you know, anything could happen. Um, <laughs> если, да, если у вашего клиента проблема, он падает телефон или что-нибудь еще, you can go backward in time to when you were a little boy or a little girl. Можете пройти по линии времени назад или вперед. And you can hold yourself, comfort yourself, love yourself. In a, in a very difficult time. Also, you can go forward in the future. You can you can notice obstructions and push them away and find a clear path through. The only limitations we have are our consciousness and what we can remember to, to, to do and see and be. So the primary technique to heal the ancestors, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to connect to my mother or my father because they were all screwed up. But there's a much more essential part. It's below the crazy personality. It's where the soul loves the child. And, and so we have the ability to go back to all of our ancestry. Before my father, there were 13 generations of ministers. Of ministers, Christian ministers. Priests. Priests. And um, I'm, I'm more of a Buddhist. I don't deal with good and bad so much. In the case I'm going to be presenting at six o'clock, I had to deal with a woman who was tortured and there were entities. It's fascinating. And I felt my, the, all 13 generations of my grandfathers with their hands on my shoulder giving me strength to go with this. I'll be talking about that at six. А в своей шестичасовой презентации я буду рассказывать о случае женщины, ну а мои предки, они вместе со мной. So the nature of who we are as beings. 
is very powerful and unlimited. And so we are not stuck in time, we are not stuck in limitation. As big as we can remember and think and be, that's, that's how big we are. Настолько, насколько мы можем себе представить, что мы, насколько мы, да, так широко, насколько мы можем себе представить, такие мы и есть. So, um, finally, it is, so we have now connected to our ancestors, and we've, говоря о соединении с предками, and we've connected to our heart. Мы говорим о соединении с собственным сердцем. I, I wish we had more time because there's a whole physiology of how that connects. It, it connects right in the trunk of the body. That there are there are channels and systems here. Well, once you get these channels open. You can get information from your ancestors and you can get information from the higher dimension. A long time ago in English there was a book called Plan of the Cave Bear. There is no title. No. It's a book, Plan of the Cave Bear. Clan like a tribe of a cave bear, you know, a bear heart. Cave. Yeah. So in, anyway, in, in this story, Allah, the main figure who lived in Europe 800,000 years ago. She could go into her memories. Может зайти в свою память. From her ancestors. Благодаря своим предкам. And know where to go and what herbs to use and so forth. И знает, какие травы использовать, куда идти. We we have this ability. У нас есть такая возможность. And and we also have the ability to know what's coming. И у нас есть возможность понимать, что будет происходить. So once we get healed in the body. Тогда, когда мы занимаемся терапией тела. And the neurotic mind stops. At least most of the time. <laughs> what we find is we have all this space in our awareness. So, so we have wonderful information and wisdom from from our ancestors and out of time. Four, 40 years ago I founded an acupuncture school and we had almost no books available that had good information. And I found if I kept my head open to the information that I needed to know. And walked around. At some point the information would come in. Because that's the way the universe works. The only limitation is our limitation. Okay. You don't even have to pay your therapist. <laughs> Shouldn't say that here. So, um, and, and so, so, so once we begin to feel, because that's what a human being is, a human being lives between the momentum of our ancestors, comes up through the kidneys, it lives, it's connected in the somatic body, and our heart embryologically is connected to the higher dimensions. In Chinese medicine, in Chinese medicine, this is called the Shao Yin layer, 
which is where the heart and the kidney meets, and that's the deepest layer of humanity. Um, and, and, and so, you know, these are some qualities of the Shaolin layer. Anyway, you get the idea. We just have a few minutes left, so I'm kind of going through here. The last, the last part is important. So the final stage, we've gotten our physical body kind of cleared out. We're connected to our heart and the higher dimensions. And we're connected to our ancestors and we're kind of living between this. And part of the final stage is the disassociation with consciousness from the duality of that, because it's still a higher dimension or not a higher dimension, is still a duality. So the idea then is to, is to begin to experience, and this is not linear, these things happen, you know, a little bit. Then begin to experience the space within reality. Like if we, I mean, this is a fairly awakened group, but if we sit here, and at some point you can realize that all these things seem solid, the chair that's keeping me off the ground But yet, when we look through these things, it's just made of space. It's just made of light. So, 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 so one of the transcendent experiences, what the Buddhists call the two truths, is to experience this truth and also the truth of energy and light simultaneously. So quickly we can talk about what enlightenment is. Now this is the Chinese character for enlightenment. Which has to do with the, the cross on the right has to do with the human. And then the character on top is, is actually for five. Five. Uh, five. Uh, yeah. So, so that's five. This is a mouth or sense of opening door. So it's a human with five open senses. And then for Buddha, yeah, for Buddha, this is the polarity that runs up the spine, okay? The, the, that's the character that runs up the spine. This is the polarity that runs up the front. And notice it's wide open space in between. Okay. With, with a loose connection holding it together. So, it's, so, so we have a dual polarity without habituation about a function. So that, that, that's... That's the illustration of a Buddha. Ah, 
Самое интересное. Чего хотите на голове? This is the radical for person, human. This tells us that this is about a human. What is the difference between a person, a man, a man and Buddha? You are explaining that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just explain her how are the difference. If, 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 if this form. was not a Buddha, you'd have all kinds of bullshit in the middle. Is it between the Buddha and the temple of Sakyamuni? Like a war is it the science. But it's interesting. There's the physiology of of, of being a Buddha right there. It's very interesting. So good, good luck translating this one. So awakening is the gradual or sudden opening to the infinite perceptive possibilities of direct awareness. Uh, восприятие бесконечного, бесконечного восп, uh, возможности бесконечного восприятия прямого прямого это не линейное много 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 вариантное спонтанная спонтан много вариантов спонтанный опыт формы внутри пространства и пространства внутри физики человека физического состояния. It's the merging of direct experience of the body on Earth held within the simultaneous awareness of space, non-dual, non-symbolic unity. Удержание спонтанного осознавания космоса в недуальной, не символической, не символическом единении. So this is basically a summation of what we're talking about, and this is held together by the connection of the heart and the kidney, and and the channel in the front of the channel. На самом деле это вот сейчас как бы итоговая итог того, каким образом через сердце и через почки человек соединяется с нижним и сверху слоями жизни. So what's the difference between an enlightened person and and an unenlightened person? You know, they say that before enlightenment you chop wood and carry water, and after enlightenment you chop wood and carry water. Перед тем как вы просветление chop wood, вы любите дерево и несете воду. После просветления также любите дерево и несете воду. I'm trying to understand it. When you know, we, we think enlightened people will be, you know, radiating rainbows out of their butt, you know, and beams out of their eyes, and you know, musical notes coming out of their ears and their nose hairs <laughs> dancing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, my teacher and, and others, I, I I had a clinic in the Himalayas for seven years, and I met people that were, you know. Probably enlightened. I mean, I'm not the greatest one to know, but they were just really normal. They were awake and aware, and they loved. And they were smart. And they were humble. Humility. Okay. And so, real enlightenment is just a good person. Not, there's not an ego, there's not a need to prove anything. But somehow when you are around them, everything works better. If you say something stupid, you know it first. In their presence. 
So um, I'll, I'll, I think we have time to read this here. So, so the picture of the Lama on the on your right side. That was Dingo Kensi. He was seven feet tall. Он высотой семь футов. Это высокий человек. Метр семь умножить на двадцать семь сантиметров умножить на семь. Он чувствовал два метра. И он моей девушки является дедушкой моей девушки. So um, these are the pith instructions of sort of how to work with your mind. А вот здесь письменная инструкция, каким образом нужно работать со своим разумом. So the everyday practice is simply to develop a complete acceptance and openness to all situations and emotions. Каждодневная практика для того, чтобы просто развивать полное принятие и открытость ко всем ситуациям и эмоциям, ко всем людям. И это обдумывание без умственных преград и блоков и experiencing everything totally without any kind of mental evasion. You're just open. Открытый ум, который ну не блокируется какими-то ненужностями, ненужными вещами. And if you notice yourself resisting anything, then open to that resistance. And, and this builds, this creates a certain kind of energy. It increases the energy. Um, so, so sometimes it's unpleasant. Sometimes it's even terrible. I was doing a, a qigong practice in China one time uh, at a cancer qigong hospital in southern China. And all of a sudden, I felt the very worst feeling. I can't even describe it. It was just the most terrible feeling. And at first, I thought, I, I can't stand this. And then I thought, yes, I can. And I opened to it. And it just went to my body and I've always thought that that would have been cancer if I hadn't, you know, if I could. But as you keep opening and opening and opening, finally you realize that there again, there's nothing to protect. Nothing to In a sense, we all argue with reality. But the deeper and wider and bigger experience of reality is enlightenment. No, больше больше эксперимента с реальностью это просветление. So basically, the practice is to be open to you and the world and everything that's there to experience it fully. Поэтому практика в том, чтобы быть открытым к миру, к реальности, к тому, что происходит, и принимать это в полном объеме. Including the end of the story. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. At three o'clock this morning, I got a call from the woman taking care of my house that my cat had been in a fight. Утром в три часа получил звонок от женщины, которая ухаживает за моим домом и за моим котом. So I've been up since three. <laughs> well, my cat was in a fight. In a fight? Yeah, cat. He was outside and somebody jumped him. So he was all scratched up. No, 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 scratched up. You know, so somehow he had a fight. Uh huh. So I've been up since three. So if I fall over, just slap me and put me back in the chair. Just slap me and put me back in the chair. If I fall over, because I'm asleep. That would have been a state of shock. Is your cat okay? Yeah, you know he's a young cat. He's you know. 
so they, unfortunately, I have an apartment. I ran out to a woman downstairs, and she works in a veterinary clinic. So I treat all my animals with natural medicine, and of course, she gave them antibiotics and all kinds of crap, but what to do? So anyway, I've been practicing some form of Chinese medicine for over 40 years. And I've been doing healing since I was a little boy. И я делаю uh, лечение хилинг с той поры, как я был мальчиком. Though as a little boy I didn't know I was doing healing, I just would put my hands on people. Uh, когда я был мальчиком, я не понимал, что я делаю вот лечение, исцеление, я просто накладывал пальцы на людей. But the case I'm going to talk about today is the most interesting and the most difficult case that I've had in my 40-year career, and I've probably seen, I don't know, 30 or 40,000 people. So, um, I'm recording this for the woman I'm going to tell you about. Uh, most of the work I've done with her has been on the phone. Uh, but um, about three quarters of my practice is on the phone with people all over the world. About three quarters, yeah. So sometimes I'm working in seven or eight or nine or ten time zones and I'm not a good secretary but somehow my patients forgive me. <laughs> so this woman was originally referred to me by a mutual friend. Um, because she had cysts on her pancreas. That could grow on her pancreas. Cancer? 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 No, it wasn't cancer. Uh, it just a cyst. Pancreas. Pancreas. Uh, it was a problem with the heart, so the group is trying to understand was it the heart or pancreas? Pancreas? Pancreas. Pancreas. Yeah. And pancreas, you know, makes insulin and, and digestive enzymes, and it's right here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is gallbladder pancreas. Mm -hmm. Pancreas is connected by a common bile duct from the gallbladder and then goes into the small intestine. Mm -hmm. And in Chinese medicine, the pancreas has to do with a sense of self, self-nourishment. For instance, if you have diabetes, which is a disease type 1 of the pancreas, uh, you're not making enough insulin, and insulin allows us to use sugar, which is our main fuel in the body. Uh, uh, so anyway, the way I work with people um, on the phone, I'm a medical intuitive, so I can see what's going on with them. So when I work with them, we use the breath. And, and then we direct the breath to various parts of the body. And with the rhythm of the breath, Parts that we can to parts of the body. And then by beginning to put our consciousness in those parts, it wakes the parts up and reconnects it like we were doing acupuncture. 
а, и направляя дыхание в разные части и осознавание в разные части организма, а, практически достигаем такого же опыта, как при акупунктуре. Результаты такого же, как при акупунктуре. So for the first few weeks of working with this woman, первые две недели работы с этой женщиной, it became clear that there was a great deal of trauma and a residue of emotion. And at the time, she was 67 years old. И было в тот момент 67 лет, и стало понятно, что у нее была травма. Over the course of the next two years, which is how long I've been working with her, курс, который длился следующие два года, uh, it, it slowly came out because she was very reluctant to speak of her past. Um, she was tortured by a satanic cult. For over 20 years. Более 20 лет. She, uh, this was a satanic cult that had been going on for about 200 years. Originally, it had come from Germany, and had, had the members had traveled to America. Place in Michigan. And um, by torture. This is the worst case I've ever heard of for any movie, any book, any case that I have had. I've had several cases of ritual abuse. Uh, mostly by very strange Christian churches off in the country somewhere. Um, you know, where people had been forced to stab babies and do all kinds of terrible things. Uh, stab babies? With a knife, stab a baby. Людей заставляли убивать младенцев с помощью ножа и другие ужасные I, I will describe just enough for you to get the idea. There were six primary perpetrators. Her mother, her father, her grandfather, her grandmother, and her uncle and her aunt. Well, I'm and we'll get there. The worst perpetrators, the bad guys, were mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, uh, and aunt and uncle. So from the time she was in a, in a crib until the time she was about 22, she was raped and beaten many times a week. The women would hold her down for the men. The men would hold her down for the women. She was pierced in every orifice by knives, by crosses. Um, the, the uncle was a doctor and worked at a hospital. And um, you know, somehow he got babies that they sacrificed. Mostly black babies. Um, and it's you know it's it's terrible you know at, at one point when she was older they tried to make um, they tried to make her a satanic princess 
Uh, every time these bad things were done to her, she was told how bad she was, she deserved it, she was a terrible person, and they were going to make her Satan's wife. И каждый раз, когда это все не происходило, ей еще при этом убеждали, что она этого достойна, что она должна быть женой сатаны. You know, she was thrown downstairs, dragged behind trucks, uh, um, forced, you know, when she was older, they brought boys over, they, they wanted to marry her, they all raped her many times. Они много раз ее насиловали, применяли наркотики, избивали. And it, it just goes on and on. So this information came out gradually. After I was working with her for about two months, gradually uh, several personalities began to appear. When the personalities came out because they had gone to sleep, during these terrible times. In, in hindsight, I became to see that her strategy of survival was to whenever a terrible, terrible situation became overwhelming, and you can imagine how many of those there were. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Because what was happening to her was just so terrible. <coughs> part of her would take the, the pain and the memory and, and, and go to sleep. Uh, as of last count, 58 personalities have emerged. И затем оказалось, что этих персонажей было 59. Они потом возникли. Сначала я не мог понять, почему она не сбежала и долго терпела. Even when she was going to college, she came home for a visit, and they drugged her and did it all over again. И даже когда она ходила в университет, в колледж, она возвращалась домой, и ее как бы затягивали назад. И что я понял, особенно в работе с каждой из этих персоналей, было, что так много ее памяти было утрачено, потому что каждый раз, когда это было так ужасно, персоналы бы утратили памяти и боль, и пойти спать. И эти 59 персонажей, когда к ним... Она к ним прикасалась, они как бы забирали ее память и уходили с ней спать. Она даже в своих, говорила мне о том, как она потеряла своих родителей. Месяц. Скучает по своим родителям. So, what I learned from all this, well, it, it was, it's very dark, but it actually gets fantastic by the end, so, so just stay with me. As, as the personalities began to appear, I began to search for, for what to do, how, how to handle it. At first, I, I bought a couple of books. I, mean, I worked with some dissociated personalities before. And, and I had worked with some possessed people before. With limited success. And I had limited success. So at first I thought I should go do some research, but then I got guidance to just stay with what was happening, that I would get the answers I needed. So as the personalities started to come out, Так когда персонажи начали, персонажи ее жизни начали появляться вот в поле разговора, they would come out in just terrible panic. Она начала впадать в ужасную панику. And even though this was 50 years, this woman was 
67 when I started to work with her. Most of the personalities were between 3 and 18. И большинство этих персонажей приходили к ней в возрасте от трех до восемнадцати. Они просто приводили в ужасное состояние, заставляли ее принимать препараты, они ее ножом протыкали, они ее они вводили в панику, что она хотела так с собой сделать. То есть, а -а -а. То есть, то есть они она, ее приводили да, как, они в, в, в такое состояние, в такое состояние. она готова была там себе в, в, в войну зажать нож там и все такое. They made, them, uh, they made her to think that that was her. Cool. Uh, they made her to think that that was her who started or who, who Make, make the things to, to be done. I, Sorry. I don't understand that. You don't understand. So, uh, Sorry. Mm -hmm. Please go on. Well, the personalities come, come out, and the personalities were children between 3 or 18 years old, and they want to hurt exactly. themselves. Yes, because th that's what they learned. They learned that yes. they were terrible, they were evil, they mm -hmm. deserved all the terrible things that had happened to them. Mm -hmm. Все эти личности хотели себя за это что к ней приходили эти личности, mm -hmm. как бы, и заставляли ее с собой, над собой издеваться. То есть, как бы, да, mm -hmm. то есть она хотела Чуть себя про проткнуть, там, как они могли сами это прийти. Естественно, что у нее в голове было уже с возраста, с возраста 3, от 3 до 18, и эти личности у нее скопились в разных частях тела. Mm -hmm. То есть, и, соответственно, когда она впадала в панику, один из каких-то из этих объектов, из субъектов, просыпался и пытался ее сподвинуть на то, чтобы она причинила себе вред. Mm -hmm. Она а помнила это, потом? Это, это была она как бы сама в детстве, что ли? То есть не она не сама, это вот эти все люди. Возможно, что это она была. Я слышал некоторые из историй раньше. Я знаю Аллу уже несколько лет. Итак, что What, what happened within the first month or so, I began to, to understand a, a, a format of what to do. The first thing I would do would have them open their eyes and look around. And I would try to give them a sense of reality that this was 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Things were terrible. You had to go to sleep. Сначала нужна была чувственная реальность в разных возрастах. I treated each personality that came out as an individual person. Я взаимодействовал с каждым с каждым с каждым персонажем, который появлялся. С каждым. С каждым персонажем. Который в ней содержался. Который да в ней содержался. И этот персонаж появлялся. I, I didn't say that much. What are you guys yeah. saying? <laughs> I just try to explain her how this is supposed to be. <laughs> so, so anyway, the first step was a reality check. Look around, open your eyes. <coughs> And then since these were all powerless personalities, that they had all been overpowered and terrible things had been done to them, for years and, and since a little baby in a crib. And so, so the as soon as they got a look around, you're safe, nobody can hurt you now. They didn't uh -huh. believe you for it. So the first And then I would say something like, it's safe to be angry now. И затем я произносил, очень безопасно быть гневным Ты можешь быть в ярости. И даже если совсем юные вот эти персонажи, 
they still had a sense of the adult in them. А у них было ощущение, что они взрослые. And so the first thing is a reality check. Look around, uh, get angry, and then they would say, "I ought to kill them," I, you know, and they would just this rage would come out. И человек, да, и пациентка, будучи в реальности, испытывая ярость, испытывая гнев, будучи готовной, может быть, убить или что-то сделать с этими персонажами. Which was the first first step in regaining their power. Это был первый этап. So, you know, we brought them out. Now, early, early personalities that came out. One was um, there's one called Uma, like Uma Hong. And she, she had the heart. Oh, yeah. Her personality had the heart. Because each, each of these personalities carried part of the main woman. And around that same time, a one named Grace came out, and Grace was connected to angels. И также была Грейс как благодать, были ангелы. And it's interesting the thread that that goes through this whole thing was the intelligence and the bigger picture of what was happening, why this soul came in, why this soul was enduring, and that's that's the fantastic thing that I hope that we can put together by the end of this. So Grace and Uma, as in Uma Hong, like the Tibetan chant were very instrumental, that they were fairly easy to, to heal. Uh -huh. And eventually they became helpers for others that came out. И в конце концов они стали помогающими персонажами, которые помогали потом управляться со следующими. So um, the, the format was have them come out, tell them the truth. You know, you're 18 or you're two years old, but you've been asleep for 60 years, and the the, the truth is, you know, you're now part of a 68 year old, 67 year old woman. И затем затем нужно было, чтобы она проговорила им, что одному два года этому персонажу другому следующее количество лет, но они спали до того, как пациентке исполнилось 67. I, I had arranged for the woman, I, I was living in Prescott, Arizona at the time, and she was living in Michigan, and uh, I had arranged her to come out to get acupuncture before the personalities came out, so she had bought her ticket. So when she came out to visit me, the personalities were just showing up. Mm. So, this part was not clear for me, I'm sorry. So, but when she was staying near me, she was staying in a motel and she would come every day for treatments. But she would go shopping and the other personalities would take over. One time she came home and the 16-year-old had, had bought lots of lingerie because the 16-year-old wanted to have sex and be sexy. Значит, и один из персонажей покупал для для того, что для стирки препараты, а другой занимался сексом. Or she'd come back and she'd have a bag full of chocolate or a bag full of jewelry and she would have to discover what it was. Она приходила с различными покупками, там коробка шоколада или ювелирные изделия, но это якобы покупали персонажи. 
and you know, you know later on they found out how to use her credit card and things would arrive in the mail. И как вот они обнаруживали, как использовать кредитную карточку, как получать почту. And it took a while. The, 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 it, it's like all of these personalities lived inside a dark room asleep, and as they began to wake up. Выглядело так, как будто все эти персонажи в темной комнате спят. Да, живут в одной комнате, спят, и потом потихоньку начинают просыпаться. The hardest part in the beginning was, as one would wake up and feel all the trauma and the emotions, that would ripple through and, and, and stimulate all the other personalities. Ага, и самое ужасное было вначале, когда один из персонажей просыпался, тревожил всех, и травма в этот момент очень активизировалась. So it took about six months, or maybe eight, eight or nine months, that we began to get the individual personalities calmed down enough so that the whole tone in that where they all somehow lived together began to calm down. So again, we had this we had this process that was working: reality check, anger. And then, to kind of, and then I would have them breathe into the body. They all had incredible pelvic pain. They all had, they all had abdominal pain. They, they all had anxiety, fear, paranoia. Вот, вот эти вот э, ступени излечения. Первое, э, контакт с реальностью. Второе, э, контакт, контакт с реальностью. Затем э, чувства такие, как ярость. И затем выход на дыхание. Э, Ощущение боли в разных частях тела, возвращение настоящей боли. So we would use the breathing exercise to, to breathe into the abdomen, which helped them experience being in the present. И использовать упражнение по дыханию животом, абдоминальное дыхание. And then also having to breathe into the vagina and the rectum. And... И это было дыхание, дыхание половыми органами. Because there was so much trauma, because they were all raped everywhere. Потому что она была травмирована да в половых органах. So it was important to begin to get the idea that they weren't in pain now; they were in the memory of pain. И было важно понять, что она не боль испытывает сейчас, а память о боли. I kept having to reiterate that you feel terrible now; you're afraid now; you're hurt now. Да, и понять, что она сейчас находится в ужасном состоянии. Она переживает, но... Because at the very worst part, you took this and went to sleep and kept it away from the main personality. Да, потому что всю эту самую ужасную часть. Ты понимаешь, когда пришло, что всю эту ужасную часть событий необходимо было взять, усыпить и положить. Also, we began to have them breathe into the tailbone, the sacrum, and the spine. If you missed, if you got my first talk today, that has to do with, with being more in control when you, you know, the, the uh, English... И, uh, дальше были включены другие виды дыхания. В первой части сегодня рассказывалось о том, что uh, дыхание через uh, позвоночник, другие виды дыхания, они дают больше контроль. In, in English, I don't know if you have this in Russian, but we have the, the expression spineless. Uh, spineless, без позвоночной, uh, without spine. Yeah, in other words, to be afraid, to not be strong, to, not, to, to have no power, to be spineless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that's a phrase that has truth. And so when you start to feel your spine and breathe in your spine, you feel stronger. И поэтому, когда дыхание идет через позвоночник, человек становится сильнее, более контролирующим. So these personalities kept coming out almost every week. One or two or three would pop out. А это они эти эти персонажи приходили каждую неделю. And and sometimes I would get emails from the older ones. And one time I got a list. Uh, one of the older ones telling me about each of the, two, uh, the I think there were 20 personalities that had come out then. Mm -hmm. So I got a list. Got... Почты, so I got a list, you know, like uh, Mary has this and Luann has that and 
Well, like uh, uh, of, of, he, of he looks at his piece, of, is niche to do it. Luana did it one, Mary did it another. That was quite amazing, really. But I began, to, I began to sense that there was a purpose through all this. Uh, no, the main personality, which I haven't talked about yet, is a very successful writer. She's written books. She's very spiritual. She's a, a, an animal communicator. She gives courses. She's into ETs and all kinds of stuff. She's very coherent. И там был самый центральный, самый положительный персонаж, который был успешным писателем, который был очень благополучным человеком, ведущим курсы, транслирующим что-то людям, транслирующим что-то людям. So, so one of my big questions was, why was this person? А и был основной вопрос, почему этот персонаж вообще имеет, имеется? Who had endured more than any human I'd ever heard of? Что это за человек, о котором еще вообще никто не слышал? Why would she endure this? Why did she have to endure this? What was the purpose? Какова цель появления его? This was a big question I had for over a year. Этот вопрос задавался целый год. And in the meantime, another factor came up. I realized that reality check, anger. Work on the body wasn't quite enough. We needed something else to to shift the energy. Было и стало понятно через год, что для того, чтобы сдвинуть энергию, недостаточно было соприкосновения с реальностью, этих ярких чувств, всех упражнений, которые по дыханию, которые проделывались с телом. Что-то нужно было еще для сдвижения энергии. So because the main personality was an animal communicator. Eventually, I realized that my dog, my cat, and my bird were psychically going to visit her. Все животные, которые окружают Питера, они, наверное, его видели бы. But early on, I began to realize that there that she had a connection to animals. So one day, just without thinking. И однажды, даже не думая, она. I said, oh, here's my dog Hannah. She has a ballet dress on and a pink tiara, and she's dancing around the room. И он сказал, вот моя собака Белла, вот на ней юбочка, а здесь что-то такое на голове корона, и она танцует по комнате. And I said she's singing Y M C A. And they visualize this dog with a ballet dress and a tiara, giving me a high five. You know, singing Y M C A. It was so stupid, but they laughed. As soon as they, this, you know, this wasn't a. We are all used to dealing with ourselves and people that have very complex personalities because we have 58 stuck in our head. Ага, и, конечно, это было возможно визуализировать. Смотрите, уже было создано 59 персонажей. So these personalities were very simple. А эти персонажи были очень простые. So by reality check, anger, dealing with the body, and then laughing. И с помощью сначала прикосновения к реальности, потом дав возможность ярким чувствам быть, потом работа с телом, наконец смех. Somehow that sequence began to clear the trauma. И вот эта последовательность она очистила травму. In the beginning, it took one or more hours to to begin to get each personality sort of clear, at least temporarily. И для прояснения этого этих персонажей очищение нужно было один или полтора часа работы. Two more personalities came out in the last month, and I'll explain that in a minute. But it took five minutes to begin to clear them. Парочка персонажей появилась последние два месяца, но их вычищение произошло за пять минут буквально. Because most of the personalities were now calm, so there wasn't the residue of tension and fear in 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 wherever their personalities were. Потому что все остальные были уже успокоены и не было вот такого напряжения внутри всей этой компании. 
So anyway, that we, we kind of went on like that, and gradually, one after another, we would kind of detox and heal these personalities. Это была такая система очищения, детоксикации и лечения всех этих персонажей. And in the beginning, I was really for the first year and a half, I was working with the main personality two to four times a week. В первые полтора года это была работа с одним персонажем два-четыре раза в неделю. So we were inventing all kinds of processes trying to deal with this at different visualizations that the main personality had a great deal of pelvic pain, anxiety, and so forth. And eventually I realized that she was actually pretty clear, and whenever she had somatic pain, about 85% of that was because some personality inside her was active. И вот проделывая всю эту последовательность действий по поводу персонажа, он убеждался в том, что персонаж живет в какой-то части тела, и теперь определено, где он находился. So eventually, about ten or eleven, maybe a year ago, где-то десять-одиннадцать лет назад, one of the personalities said, "I invented a word." I invented a word. Yes. Invented, yeah. So the word? She made up a word. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so one of the personalities said, I invented a word. And I go, what's the word? Uh, and she said, Tokenka. Tokenka. You know, it's a meaningless word. So I said, oh wait, there goes a tokinka running under the table. Or, oh, I almost stepped in a tokinka. In a tokinka. So they made up this word, but eventually this word became their healing word. They could shout at the end of working together instead of visualizing my dog doing ballet. И вместо того, чтобы визуализировать э, собаку Питера, которая делает э, балетные упражнения, um, they would shout, Tokinka! Она, она кричала Токинка. And we'd make it sound funny. Tokinka! И это было смешно. Let's shout, Tokinka! Смешно, вот они кричали. And it would just break all the tension. И это снимало э, вот напряжение. все напряжение. Now, one of the secrets that began to help us was Becoming funny and silly is also opens the heart. Оказывается, то, что помогло им, это стать глупым, глупым, смешным, и это открывало сердце. And early on, I realized that these were separate personalities, and I, I, it occurred to me that if they were going to come together, that they all shared the same heart. So the, the, the personality as a whole developed these healing traits. They had grace that would take the new personalities that were confused and connect them to angels. Because the, the main person grace, которая имела связь с ангелами. And they had the one personality, Uma, that would help them with their heart. So Grace and Uma would help the new ones that were coming out. Grace and Uma, Grace and Uma, это были персонажи, которые помогали выходить. Помогающие персонажи. And the main personality would tell me sometimes she would hear them shouting Tokinka inside her. А главный персонаж говорил, что он слышит, как Tokinka произносится. So um, what I realized eventually, as I got to know this woman very well, I realized that she was a very, very high and powerful spiritual soul. And her job was to come in and endure the worst imaginable experience but I didn't know why yet one day as I'm talking to her this terrible voice came and said who the fuck are you 
And that turned out to be the grandfather. Uh, the personality of the grandfather. He was the worst. Он был самый плохой. Вот персонаж, который изображал девушку, был самый ужасный. So at first I really wasn't sure what to do. Сначала я не знал, что делать. And so I said, I'm Peter. Oh, I'm Peter. I'm Peter. What the fuck do you want? So he said, I'm gonna fuck you. Because every one of the perpetrators had been abused and tortured like this woman. Потому что все в этом окружении они были также под сексуальным нападением, как эта женщина. Да, изнасиловалась. At some point I said, you can't fuck me, you don't even have a dick. And he goes, what do you mean I don't have a dick? I got a dick. So knowing that knowing that he didn't have a body, this was just his spirit. I said, okay, reach down there and feel it. So finally he did it. I don't have a dick. I said, open your eyes and look in the mirror. He said, who's that? I said, that's the girl that you tortured for 20 years. Посмотри, эта девочка, эта девушка, которую ты изнасиловал несколько лет. That even as a baby, was stronger than you. Она была сильнее, чем ты. Because in 20 years you could not turn her to the dark, never once. Потому что через 20 лет ты не можешь превратить ее в собаку. Нет, не смог ее бросить в тьму. Because this group was from Satan. This was a satanic. Да, это было потому что это сатаническая. Не смог бросить ее в тьму, потому что это сатаническая, сатаническая сила. So gradually the spirits of the grandmother came out, and the grandmother, the grandfather were the worst. The father and the mother came out. The uncle and the aunt came out. And постепенно ушли и дух матери и дух дух бабушки и дух отца они были самыми плохими. And then there were the the entities of several demons that came out. Они вышли как демоны. Демон. А они вышли как демоны. Yeah. And so at first I wasn't sure what to do, but as I said in the earlier group. Before my father, there was thirteen generations of ministers in my family. Сначала я не знал, что делать, так как мой папа был из череды священников. So I'm a Buddhist. I don't deal with good and bad very much. Я больше буддист, и я не знаю. It's different. Я по другому отношусь к миру. But I I realized that was the polarity we had to deal with here. Ну, я понимал, что есть полярность, с которой мы встречаемся. So at one point I felt the line of my grandfathers behind me with their hands on my shoulders. And so I was able eventually to kind of work with, with all of the, the, the six main perpetrators and the demons that came out. С одной стороны, я чувствовал руки отца, помогающие мне на плечах, а с другой стороны, здесь все эти демоны и персонажи. And so the way that it worked out, I, I had worked with possession before, but like I say, it was. Я работал с подобными больными ранее, но. You know, with, with a so-so outcome. Более-менее бедно. But what I realized when I realized that each of the main six perpetrators had been tortured. После того, как я понял, что главные шесть персонажей были они тоже подверглись насилию. Да, они также подверглись насилию. Да, насиловали, избивали. For years. Как годы. So finally, I started. I forget who. Maybe it was the father or the mother. В конце концов все смешались. Кто был папа, кто был мама. I finally, finally got them to realize that they had never, ever, ever been out of pain. 
that I finally reminded them that they had been tortured just like they tortured this poor girl. Я понял, что они также все были все были изнасилованы и избивались точно так же, как эта девушка. So, what, you know, so I started to describe to them the things that I imagined that had happened to them in great detail, you know, anally rape, face put on a grandmother's cross. And finally they started to realize their own pain. As soon as the perpetrators started to feel their own pain, а вот эти основные персонажи они стали чувствовать свою собственную боль. И после этого только они стали понимать, какую боль они причинили самой пациентке. И я даже заставил пятеро из этих шести персонажей плакать. The only one that didn't cry was the grandfather. He was the worst. When I was working with the grandmother, who was the second worst, as I began to describe the pain that she must have gone through and how much that must have hurt her, all of a sudden, energetically, I saw a tiny pinprick of light я после того, как я начал описывать ей, как сколько боли она принесла, я понял, я почувствовал pink of light. Pin prick, you know, like a little tiny pin, a little tiny light came out of her heart. Ага, я почувствовал, как маленький, как булавочная, как булавочный укол, свет, который начал исходить из сердца. So I said, you know, I hate to tell you this, but there's a little light coming out of your heart. And she, first she refused, and then she started to cry. And, and as soon as she started to cry, then she started to realize what she had done. So eventually, all of the five of this, well, the grandfather didn't cry, but he realized that life had been a waste because this whole colon that was actually working out of the Masonic Temple in Michigan, had, was not able to turn this baby to Satan in 20 years. Получилось так, что дедушка осознал, что они пытались эту девочку в течение 20 лет привести в сатанинскую церковь, и у них не получилось. So, eventually, all of the six they made prayers to go into the light, to renounce the darkness, and to pray for healing. And then, as we started to deal with these demons, again, I wasn't sure what to do, and then all of a sudden, one day, I said, you used to be an angel. И uh, тогда, когда мне было понятно, что делать с демонами, с демонами uh, в один из дней я сказал им, вы когда-то же были ангелами. Fuck you, I didn't used to be an angel. Они сказали, нет, такого не было. But finally I realized you never had a good day, you used to be an angel, and then all of a sudden they went, oh, I used to be an angel. <laughs> И они сказали, никогда не было же у нас хороших дней, о, все-таки мы были ангелами. So as terrible as it seems, as dark as it seems, I can't imagine how difficult it was for this woman. There was some beautiful things that occurred. So in the end, it appeared that the reason that she came in to endure all this was because she was a profoundly powerful spiritual soul. И та причина, по которой она все-таки пришла, и почему она появилась, она была глубоко высокодуховным человеком. That came in to prove to, to, to the continuation of this lineage that had come from 200 years, I, I guess generation, generation, generation from Germany, that they had no power 
compared to a little baby? И вот эти вот 200 лет сатанинской секции, секты, они все-таки не смогли заставить эту женщину за 20 лет превратиться в сектантку. So because of her sacrifice, all these souls realized that the darkness had no power, at least for them, and they went into the light. И все эти темные личности, они не смогли доказать, что so you know it's it's it really calmed down for a long time now these new ones have popped up she went to get a chiropractic treatment a few weeks ago and it hurt her and the fact of being on the table and being in pain it freaked out a lot of the personalities and then the last two came out and so whenever they're freaking out inside she has all kinds of terrible pelvic pain and stuff более более менее вся ситуация успокоилась и пришла в нормальное состояние. Два последних персонажа, которые появились, они уже были боль была локализирована. We've had several sessions where just this terrible, terrible, terrible deep rage just came out. У нас было несколько сессий, в которые очень очень глубокая ярость выходила наружу. And who wouldn't have that after all this terrible thing? So now we think that the last personalities are out. Yeah, and, and so it's hard for her to separate. When she feels pain, it's still hard for her to remember that. It's not her, it's one of the entities inside. Не она, а что это персонаж? Сейчас я немножко уточнить должна. So, uh, until now, she, when she feels pain, it's 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 hard for her to differentiate it's because it feels like her pelvis mm -hmm. is on fire, mm -hmm. but it's really the memories from. Uh, the... До сих пор ей непонятно, когда она чувствует боль, это реальная боль или, или это память. So anyway, it's been a profound experience. And... Это был очень глубокий опыт. Um, I, she's definitely in the home stretch, and um, it's the, home stretch. The, the, the final phase. <laughs> home stretch is a baseball term. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> From third base to home. Probably not very Russian. Um, but I, I wanted to present this case here because it's about as uh, trans-dimensional as you can get. It's spiritual, it's profound, it's healing, it's deep, it's many dimensions. Um, and, and we forget sometimes the very, very big picture. You know, we forget what it means to be a certain soul in a certain time in a certain place. You know, we all think that we want to do better and get enlightened and become more and more spiritually aware. But if you think about it, we're all connected to God, we're all connected to the universe, we're all spirits. But for some reason we come in with different parts of ourselves missing and we don't always remember our spiritual self but we interact in a certain way, stupid ways. Painful ways. But really we're all spirits, we're all here interacting. So we just have to remember the big picture. And, and look deeply and 
have a big perspective I guess. And don't forget to shout. Don't forget to shout Tokinka! <laughs> I keep telling her she should get a kitty cat with multiple toes and call him Tokinka. Я не сказал вам, что у него там была кошка с большим количеством пальцев. This toe is the word for, you know, the little things on your feet. Those are toes. Toes. So, Tokinka, you know how some kitty cats have multiple toes? Yes. So, they have a cat called Tokinka. Это вот кот такой, который был Tokinka, у него уже много было пальчиков на ногах. Теперь я не понимаю. Any questions? Вопросы? Да. I have a few questions actually, but the first one is how do you protect yourself while uh, dealing with it? Uh, you know, I've been a healer for 40 years. Yeah, and, um, 40 years. I, I became, I, I, I loved, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you get used to clinically, you push everything away and you just have a clear surface. But I loved each one of the persons. And once I realized the fallacy of the darkness in this situation, you know, it, it just didn't even dawned on me that they could do anything to me because he didn't even have a dick. <laughs> Он, он говорит, что я в каждом персонально люблю. Что, что, что со мной может сделать существо, если у него даже нет члена? Да. То есть как бы дух, которого нужно тоже сострадать и сочувствовать этому духу. So, it, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about it. You know, I'm, if you just love and care and are present, you see the truth of things. Если вы любите и присутствуете здесь и сейчас. One time. I, I was working on a woman who was a famous psychic in my area when I lived in California. Famous psychic. Medium. Yeah. So she was dying and she was losing her eyesight and losing, losing the, she couldn't use her hands. So. I, I used some energy work and some acupuncture, so she could ride and see better. And then I didn't hear from her for three weeks, and then I heard she died. So one night I was it was it was a, it was a holiday, it was a Thanksgiving holiday, and I was watching a foot. This I didn't have any family at that. Point near me, so I was alone on the holiday. Я смотрел футбольный матч, семьи не было. Watching football, drinking beer, and eating cookies not very spiritual. Это не очень такой духовный способ. Я смотрел телевизор, кушал, пил пиво, всякие выпечку. So all of a sudden, this ball of energy appeared to me, which was the spirit of this woman that had died. И затем появился мяч, энергии, шар энергии. Uh, and, but it had a spot on her. And she said, get this spot off me. The spot of me. It, it had a, a ball of energy that had a black spot. So she wanted me to get the spot off her. She had died and she had some residue. So I spent about 45 minutes trying to figure out what that meant. I, you know, I had beer, cookies, depressed, football, and all of a sudden this thing appears to me. <laughs> so anyway, I took, it took me about 45 minutes to get the spot off her, then it was on me. And so then it took about 45 minutes for me to get the spot off me. <laughs> so stuff happens, but not too serious. <laughs> so, you know, consciousness creates biology. Consciousness is, is, is the light. Darkness is the shadow. 
Darkness is the absence of light. It's not a primal power. So feel your strength of the light connect your heart. You know, know where your roots are. And, and there's nothing to worry about. As long as you shout, Tokinka! <laughs> Any other questions? There's another workshop in this space actually, so uh, looking at the time. Okay. The schedule got a little confused, but um, if we could cut it short. Alright. I'm not too tall, so let's go. Okay. Thank you very much. That was, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the first time I have told this story beginning to end. So I, I was curious to see how it would come out, and I recorded it for the woman who it happened to, because she wanted to hear it. Было интересно, как это будет происходить, но я ее записал для женщины, которая может быть будет интересно послушать. Нет, он сказал о том, что сейчас она, то есть мы начали говорить эту историю, она появилась у него в компьютере. Там появилась. Да, то есть она ему на связь вышла эта женщина. Спасибо. А если вам нужно, подходите, пожалуйста. Дистанционно, поэтому. Да.